the long-awaited, very anticipated and prestigious update has come to Project Apex. It has caused turmoil, insanity and has brought out the worst in the player base, but it's finally out. The game was shut down for two hours and all hell broke loose, but after a bunch of bugs and weird happenings, I am proud to present to you Project Apex Content Update 10. Firstly, and most importantly, the F1 2024 cars have finally been released, along with other liveries as well. The cars can be found in the old F1 2023 spot in the dealership and showcases 16 different liveries for us to marvel at. Being Project Apex, they are all very detailed and look absolutely class. The great liveries are the Porsche and the Ferrari, but the best livery is of course the Mercedes, without any bias. In order to purchase the very expensive maxed out Red Bull, you need 16 million Great British Pounds, which is definitely a hefty price. But you have other free cars to choose from, such as the Agile Energy, the Alton and the EX Autosport cars, which are albeit quite slow in comparison but are still pretty decent. On the track, you can immediately see the difference between the 2023 cars just by looking at the UI looking like they've just taken it and decided to squash it a little and call it a day. But still, looks pretty damn good, bar the DRS signal maybe, as it looks like it's been through war. Handling. Quite different to the last generation, but nothing too extreme. Comparing the cars at the lower end of the performance spectrum, we can see that the 2024 cars have a slight edge and are slightly faster than their predecessors, but again, it's not a huge difference. The max out 2024 Red Bull is definitely a lot faster, as we can see in this comparison, being able to break later and overall has a faster average speed with higher top speeds, so you're going to have to grind a little in order to get the fastest possible driving experience. There has also been another addition to the game. The Formula B cars have also been included in Content Update 10, which will set you back 150 Robux and has 11 beautiful liveries for you to decide. They are obviously much smaller, slower, and have worse handling in comparison to the F1 2024 cars, but they are still a fun experience to enjoy and can be a damn decent addition to Project Apex Leagues that want a feeder series, opening up even more possibilities with the game. They are a lot more slidier compared to the other car types in the game and are quite slow, but not to the point where if you get out of your car and walk, you can beat it. They have no ERS and DRS alike the 2024 F2 cars and overall is just an excellent quality feature to a great update. Overall, it has been a hectic day for row racing, but especially Project Apex, with an all-time high player count of around 2,000 players, which is absolutely insane and amazing to see. Anyways, thank you for watching hopefully the first update video on Content Update 10 and make sure to subscribe to see more content about the game like this. Thank you.